through that, uh, quickly want to understand uh, the name and the person participant and uh, and what uh, experience he has and uh, what is he looking for less than a half minute uh, introduction will help me to understand what they are looking. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, please. Uh, Arish, uh, uh, Arish. Uh, please speak, please introduce to Arish. Hello, this is Nagaraj Chintam. Hi, Nagaraj. Uh, uh, hello. So I have around uh, the closely 15 years experience in uh, the SAP ERP. I am working as a SCM con function consultant the, from the sales and distribution and uh, uh, including the warehouse, some part of the, the material procurement process. So right now I am looking for the S4 HANA, the simple logistics. Good, Nagaraj. Yep, good. Okay, we can go through that. Thank you. Thank you, Chandra. Yeah, we'll uh, start. Uh, um, uh, other people may introduce later uh, if they want to later. Okay, so. We'll go through the the demo part and which covers uh, my introduction as well. So this is myself having uh, 20 years of uh, SAP experience and uh, another 12 years of uh, industry experience. That means around 30 to 32 years. Worked uh, with uh, global clients and almost all modules. Hands on most of the time, and also at a program management level and uh, senior level positions also. So experience pocketing approximately, I just put it. Then, if I if we see more than thirty batches, close to seven twenty eight twenty nine batches, we have covered, and a lot of people have been certified and. Sometimes your voice is breaking, Chandra, by I don't know the reasons. Okay, let me try to adjust my microphone. Maybe this is better? Yep, now it's good. Okay, so Hi, I have started. Hey, Zahir. Now it should be better. So I started working from 3OC, which is 97, uh, in Singapore with um, Roche Vitamins. And right now I'm implementing the 1809. Uh, first goal is happened and next few goal is are on the way. So worked in the different versions 1610 and 1709 with various uh, companies in implementing. These are the certifications that I have done recently in last one year. All SOHANA, sales, procurement, production, and the data science part of it. Also, quite a few uh, hub certifications. So that is what is uh, briefly about me. And uh, the course is intended for the experienced people. So this is not a problem for you guys. So most of the people are experienced. That means uh, I'm not going to cover the basic of uh, the, the enterprise structure or basic uh, sales organizations, distribution channels, or pricing procedures, or our basic uh, um, procurement processes we are not going to cover. We are, we'll focus only on the new features. Along with this, uh, we focus on the certification. So you can go for either of the certifications, uh, depending upon uh, your choice of interest, sales and uh, procurement. So I'll help you with the questions uh, and the guidance uh, 
uh, both from the Swahana point of view and ECC point of view. ECC point, uh, I just give the material. Uh, so these are the courses that I'm going to cover from the Swahana point of view, introduction, sales innovations, uh, business processes and sales, all belonging to Swahana. Then innovative logistics and procurement. So these five courses will cover entire gamut of our Swahana. The one in the black, I'll give the content, which will help you for the examination. This is a standard ECC, auto fulfillment and, uh, uh, and sales and distribution, procurement, TCM 50 or 52, one of them. So this will help you for the examination preparation. Why? The exam will consist of uh, uh, 50 questions from the ECC and 30 questions from the SOHANA. That's what I'm telling, like uh, we, you, I'll be able to give some guidelines and questions, which is a question bank, uh, which is good enough. Uh, if not 100%, some 40 to 45% of the questions will be covered. Remaining, you are expected to pick up from that and most of the people have cleared the exam. So that is what it is. From the HANA point of view, introduction will cover the topics. So we'll start with uh, SO HANA, what is introduction, then digital core, intelligent enterprise, different versions of the HANA, HANA, Sutan, HANA, evolution, complete theory, what is theory, what are the advantages, embedded analytics, that part. How we implement them, SO HANA, and how this is different from the standard one, which is the SAP Activate methodology where you follow, and you get a what is the SAP jam and best practices, how do we implement and some of the able, able to get some logins and SAP jam. Then how do we implement this whole thing? And option is how to implement various methods. What is a conversion? What tools that you use? What is a greenfield implementation? What kind of uh, tools that you use for the data migration? And also what is the, the simplification? What is the conversion So various methods and landscape transformation? These points we'll discuss and best practices we'll try to understand. And why it is called appliance. So why HANA, base, HANA is not a database? It's more than that. So what is the IoT capabilities? What is the in-memory capabilities? What is the different row tables, column tables, spatial capabilities, all those HANA as a total picture, irrespective of any module. This will form the fundamentals for your new era. So this is not equal to the ECC. ECC is just database. So it's much more than that. So what those things we'll discuss, how OLTP, OLAP is getting combined, how it is supporting the various digital platforms. So this part is the first part, irrespective of the module. And on while doing this, we'll talk about the details of the HANA as a platform. So what is the data modeling? What is the OLTP, OLAP combination? Then multi-tile processing, advanced compression, all these features, how this will help the business. So theory, um, output onto the theory, um, then how the BI platform is supported. So text analysis, graphics, so, so where this industry is really is useful. This will do in the introduction. Also, we'll talk about uh, from here, what is the plan for, uh, why this digital core is required. So, so based on this, what is the future? So digital enterprise management, which is intelligent enterprise, how this intelligent enterprise a digital core is a base. Then extensively, we talk about the theory, what is the theory apps? How the theory is helping the uh, the embedded analytics? So what data service, CDS use? So we will not create anything, but we'll understand the complete. Also theory creation, new theory apps creation is a technical part. So that uh, is different. Then adoption, as I was telling, what, how to move on to the s hana Different options tools and SAP JAM activate, activate methodology. How this is 
used, how this is different from the, how the Agile method is implemented in real time. Once we complete that, we come to the sales and distribution. All new features of the sales and distribution will be discussed. That is, uh, and some of them are configured before you and shown. AATP is configured, BP is configured. If BP is a mandatory. So how do we configure the business partners and guide business partner configuration? Then what is the cycle in the theory, analytical apps, query browser apps, lighthouse scenarios? So this part is on the PPT we'll discuss. BR plus is a new output management. And um, this um, back order processing is a new thing. So all these two parts will go into the deep dive and there'll be exercises uh, uh, very regularly on this uh, as the class is over. Once we do that, we'll touch base the materials management new topics. We talk about uh, predominantly theory part of S4 PR1 and S4 LG1. Then topics wise, MRP live, material ledger, BP configuration, here vendor configuration, PTP cycle, analytics, query browser. So whatever is uh, from the SD, it's a kind of replica. So some of the features of this, uh, we'll see, and we'll deep dive into the, at least a class or two classes on the embedded warehouse. And Ariva integration, lighthouse scenarios, we are a plus for the PO, like as we have seen for SO. So this is how like, um, we do it on the new features of the of the materials management. So, so this is how the classes are structured. These are the topics. It's not 30 hours. It is basically 30 topics. So these 30 topics are classically arranged, and we'll try to cover almost all the topics uh, in detail. Right. So any questions before I go into the quick differences between the ECC and HAN? Chandra. Yep. So, uh, so my name is Harish actually, and uh, uh, I, uh, I was in the office. I'm still in the office anyway. I just came out. Okay. So I have a uh, question uh, regarding S4 HANA. I'm not sure. Like when you started, you say that it's a simple logistics. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just so what is the difference? First of all, what's the difference? It's simple logistics or sourcing and procurement and uh, uh, how how you can differentiate is that simple logistic covers that as well or what? Because I have seen you know like fifteen eleven, fifteen eleven, and then seventeen oh nine, which you have done, and eighteen oh nine as well. So, what is that? Is updated version or what is that? Yeah, that's what we will cover now. Basic differences between the ECC and uh, um, uh, and HANA. So first thing is uh, the. The database framework is entirely different. Your tables are different. Your features are different. Your embedded analytics has come into the picture. So every process that you do, your GUI processes look same, but uh, backend processes are different. So that is what I will talk in the ECC versus uh, HANA. Okay. No, no. Yeah. No. My question is basically, what is the difference between simple? Like if you when we started, you said it's a simple logistics. Okay simple logistics and the second thing is the sourcing and procurement okay so are we covering the sourcing and procurement uh, in the simple logistics as well or simple logistics and sourcing and procurement is both different thing no no simple logistics consists of the both modules that is what we meant new features oh, of okay. the SAP, new features okay. of the so these two combined sap is now calling them as a simple logistics all the new features of the sd and mm that's what we talked about so in the MM part, we will cover these new features. Part, right. These are the new features. MM part, these are the new features. So those two things combinedly, they call it as a simple, simple logistic. Oh, yeah, now I understand. Yeah, that's a confusing thing. It's all right. I understand. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, no problem. So that is what is these topics will be covered. So was this? Uh, so let us quickly see. The differences, why we, why we want to do. So major difference is the data. So it is like uh, ECC is a hard disk. It's a simple database, means the data is stored. But whereas HANA is an in-memory platform, we call it as well. So what is the difference between the in-memory platform? Your entire company data resides in the memory. Uh, that means uh, like if you're going for a, uh, let's say, um, a, any exam, 
if your completely data is right away in the memory, you can easily retrieve the examination and pass it. Like one more example, let's say you have the entire uh, maybe 20,000 or 30,000 telephone numbers in your mind. Without looking or anything, you can just dial it. Whereas same thing if you want to go into the book or uh, physical book or uh, electronic book and search and uh, do it, it may take two minutes. So two minutes versus 10 seconds. So it is that itself is 30 to 40 times or 50 times faster, our brain. So imagine a database of uh, 1 million records or 2 million records where you are searching the data. The data has to go to the database and get to fetch the data or if the data is in the memory. So that is why HANA as a platform is uh, in memory platform is almost 300 to 400 times faster. But how it's a technological event. So what, what is the difference for you? So for you, it is how the data is organized, column tables, row tables, and the data model has changed. So that is what is the functional consultant will affect. Right, so faster retrieval, so if you see the features, MRP Live will run first MRP, like previously the companies, most of you who are still working or worked, will take a minimum of seven, eight hours. Uh, if it is a large plants or, uh, or large companies, sometimes it runs for more than 12 hours. That's where I have seen in some of the, my background job of MRP Live, we'll keep it on the Friday evening or once in a 15 days and runs for 10 hours or 15 hours and it kills. So the disadvantage is uh, if anything comes to requirement in between, they have to wait for the next run. But MRP Live runs faster, less than an hour. And also you can run for a single material at any point of time across the multiple plants. So high speed processing. So uh, no reports to be put in the background. Your ABAP reports need not put as a background job. It will run immediately and come out. So it's a column based data size is very less. We talk about all these features, right? Where will be combination? That means uh, the moment you process a purchase order, you know if you do the course receipt, uh, the stocks will be updated immediately in your reports. So oh, on a on a mobile or on a on a tab format on a Fiery app. So dynamic real-time situation of the stock, real-time sales orders, real-time invoices, real-time amount of the account receivables, payables, you can see immediately if somebody has paid or cleared. So for that, what kind of apps that you should use for those things? So that is a fundamental from the business point of view. From the system point of view, FI and CO are combined. That means uh, there is a single table which will help uh, no reconciliations. Previously, we used to have FI tables, we used to have a CO tables, and the same data is replicated. Some data will flow, some data will not flow. So reconciliation problems and data redundancy. So that is not there now. Similarly, in the, in the MM, if you see, 26 tables are combined into a single table. So database changes are there. Then functional capabilities, other than uh, our modules, central finance is available. Then you have the transportation module is available. Then you have the CAFI and CO merged. So transportation module is also affecting both of us. Means if you implement a simple, um, um, in simple logics is closely associated with your um, transport management. So then these are all the new things that is mandatory for us in a system. So if you want to work on Espohana, you need to know the business partner concept, business partner configuration. Then you need to know the customer CVI, customer vendor integration. So what are all the other things that you should know aware is material master numbers are extended, then new material type server has come into the picture, rate management is changed. So FSCM, it goes to the FSCM. So MRP Live, GTS, BRFS, 
So all these things are different from your ECC. So if you want to survive, if you want to implement these features, most of them you should know as per your modules. That means you may not be knowing the GTS or will not be covering the GTS. But uh, remaining features, so like um, maybe credit management also we are not going to cover. So what is relevant in your module will cover. And you should know also that is what it is, whether we cover or not, there are a lot of changes between the ECC and uh, S4HANA, that's what we are telling. Suppose you want to buy something in the 20 years back, why should we do this? I'm just telling an example. You want to buy a Chetak, you use it to wait for maybe three, four years. That's how the companies, I mean, the customer uses it to wait for the company. But nowadays it is not like that, right? So there are multiple options for the customers, companies can go. Point here, why company has to go for s hana If they want to survive also, right? In the digital economy, mobile sales, real-time information, IoT capabilities, industry 4 auto, all these things, the business need to survive. That means it's a must for SAP, uh, for companies to go on to the s hana not for the sake of SAP is changing it. Business world is changing, but to keep up, on the digital economy, like you, you want to, somebody can give a quote directly on their mobile uh, by seeing what are all the products, uh, and you want to go and do it on your ECC and come back, uh, it's a fast speed. So, and you want to take a real time decision, how much discount you want to give based on what are all the last purchases he has done, you can easily see that on the theory. So, companies are or, or uh, how to move on to this uh, sooner or later, right? Uh, so all these features uh, sub is supported by the digital core. So that is why they move on to the, they should move on to the Espohana. So when they move on to the, or they are planning to move on to the Espohana, we should understand these capabilities. If not every capability, you will not be implementing it, but you are, um, as a functional consultant, we should know and we should upgrade ourselves. So we'll quickly touch base when in our course, differences between the each version. Okay, so as a consultant, you will be going through the, all these concepts, like complete configuration, business partner configuration, DRF plus configuration, data migration cockpit exercise, MRT live exercise, availability uh, to the promise, BOP, dashboard design in the Lumera, then theory libraries, all these aspects you will be given a hands-on, most of them, right? So we have a broad timetable, which we'll follow. If not 100% uh, according to this, this is why what uh, we try to give as a guideline. So this is the direction that we go. So unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, um, then, uh, then functional innovations, uh, I try to put as much as possible with uh, all the things. Sometimes we may leave some of the time uh, topics and we may combine, but we try to cover as much because we try to cover the new topics, right, which is not covered here. So based on my implementation. So these are all the guidelines. So we cannot go back and say why you have not covered your promise. I might have covered something else, but broadly my experience will come from the uh, implementation. So what are we implemented, how the implement, successful implementation, what is your role? So as a process, you will be creating or uh, using these transactional apps and working with these apps in the theory and the GUI, right? A lot of things are there. So I think we covered one more example, I put it, like both looks like a car, but a flying car and uh, ECC, uh, both serve the purpose, but the speed, the engine, the methodology, everything is different in the s hana Even for the survival, we should know how to fly the car, even though, even though you may be knowing how to drive the car, or you, in case required, you need to make the repairs. So that is how one is operation and one is in configuration. So with the simple analogy, I will try to, so how the our courses will be, our course will have the theory topics, classroom demos, exercises, everything. Um, yeah, so that is what is, uh, timings, I think we'll come back to you. Mostly it is in, now, right now, I think Zaheer, you contact Zaheer 
on the timings. It's a weekend plan, I think, that he has. Hello, so you hi, can... Chandra. Chandra, yeah. uh, actually, there are a customer who paid for weekdays. Actually, we discussed for weekend, but uh, the customer who paid for weekdays only, and we'll keep the same time for weekdays. So it says that it looks like it is a weekday course. So we start. Uh, we will start from this coming Monday. Yeah. So from uh, Monday to Friday of US timing. So this is what it is around uh, 8 p.m. to 9:30 or uh, yeah something like that. It will be EST timing. Approximately four weeks, three and a half to four weeks. So that is what we try to cover. Yep. Any questions I can take? No. I'll wait for a couple of more minutes here. You have my you had my introduction. You had a very clear timetable and topics, and um, uh, and the timings, the plan that we are going to cover. So that's how it is. Zaheer, you have anything to add? Pardon? Come again? Yeah, Chandra. Chandra. So how many Chandra. months are you going to provide the system access? Uh, Zaheer should answer. Three months will provide us. The three months after course completion are like a, uh, right from the course start? Right from the course start. Mm -hmm. It, because it will be useful during the course, right? And the course will be complete, I think, one and a half between, between four weeks. So you can continue to the practice in three months. Okay. So what about the the documentation access, like uh, as you mentioned? Yes, it will be the complete study materials, as uh, Chandra discussed. Idea mm -hmm. and configuration and all this thing. APD. See, PPTs will be given on the same day, so you complete the class and you will get the, you will not get everything in the beginning. So what we do is every day there will be a class and the PPT will be shared. Mm -hmm. And ECC part, which I promise will be given at the end of the course. What about the course structure? Like uh, uh, some documents, your PDF documents, uh, SH401, something, something you mentioned. Those documents? Those are made into the daily part only. You will see that uh, whichever part of the S4H01, uh, or we can collate and give it to you in the end also, but you will get that on the daily basis. So this is what I'm going to cover, right? So this part is covered in yeah. uh, detailed timetable. So when I'm covering on the detailed timetable, so that part you will get it. I, I have here, here is my, sorry. There is a detailed timetable right here. Mm -hmm. So S4H0 part of this, uh, you will get on this day. Next user experience, you will get on this when I'm covering this topic. So the same content will be broken and given to you on a daily basis. So you mean to say like uh, the PDF document will be broken based on the units and you provided the unit one and unit two. Correct. And second thing, the system availability. So, so suppose let's assume, okay, due to some reasons, we have some issues, okay, patches, all nodes may not be available, all, maybe all functionalities may not be available in IDA server. So what level of uh, accessibility are we providing here? So, yeah, so for any tiny system, you know that, right? You will not have a full-fledged implementation team kind of support because I'm both implementation and I know what is the level of the most of the systems. So some of the features, as I told, will not work. I'm very clear on this, but you will get a very clear understanding and you will be able to execute uh, with the software when you go on to the drone server. So okay. what are all the things that you can definitely do? I'll tell complete BP configuration. There is no issue. You'll be able to. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, most of uh, 70% of the theory apps uh, will work, 
okay mm -hmm. whatever talking like it is a query browser or uh, um uh, standard sales order creation delivery creation invoice uh, and uh, remaining uh, quite a few some of the critical apps like uh, bop configuration and uh, even brf brf configuration is not a simple configuration even though it looks very simple there is a adobe server configuration there is a lot of things so some may or may not work because of the different patches yeah. so you mean to say the brf may not work um, may or may not work but you will see the entire configuration you can configure it but your output sometimes may not be visible but all the steps that you need which you will configure you will configure in the brf place so that part you can do it but when it comes to the adobe server publish right sometimes it may not work that's good to know and the second yeah. thing is like a, i'm talking about the system availability only so yeah, yeah. If, due to any reasons so okay system is down the how soon you can provide the access suppose uh, let's assume right. okay the right now i am doing the some kind of a uh, the configuration due to some reasons so okay system is a down mm -hmm. due to nodes or whatever the reason i'm unable to the perform the task if I create a ticket and how soon they will get back to me like hey this is uh, to... if it is a small issue then the system will be up within 24 hours if it is mm -hmm. a large issue then it will be start uh, start up with uh, 48 hours okay so, so if you are... let's, uh, let's assume in the three months period we have an outage around three to four times like uh, the four times means like uh, four to eight days no, no, it so will are you guys continue in 24 into 7. There is no issue for disconnection. If even if you're so, getting some issue for disconnection or outage, so we will increase the date, whatever that is. That's what I'm asking, Jahir. So let's assume, okay, in the three months period, we have a four to five times outage, okay, each time is a 48 hours. It totally if will combine 10 hours. So are you going to extend the 10 hours? Correct. It means like a one day or two day. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's will cool. we'll extend it. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. So Chandra, I have another question. Are we going to cover settlement management over here? No, no, no. Settlement management is part of the FI. What I am not going to cover, also in explicit detail. I am not going to cover debates. I am not going to cover uh, uh, the settlement management or REVREC, or mm -hmm. I am cover the GTS part of it or credit management. So what is today as per the guidelines of the SAP, which comes under the SD and which comes under the new features of the MM that I'm going to cover. Because first thing is, uh, and second thing is the complexity. It is changed a lot. It is not, uh, 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 rebate management is completely changed. Uh, 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 if you are talking about the revenue, even though I'm implementing that, it, it doesn't come under this. So uh, under the e EWM also, EWM complete configuration will take uh, 30 to 40 classes. Uh, we have implemented that and we I know that, but uh, I will give a, a two classes over to how the major configuration changes or how it looks like, or what are the features of the complete uh, warehouse. I think I'm hearing a lot of sounds, so please. So, so what I'm saying is, uh, so, you will get, see, let me put my expectations for you for this, or, or let us set the expectations. So here, you are, by seeing this, you cannot implement this, your s hana by, or by going through this course. But what it will give you is, you will, you will be given a 70% to 80% features of that. With this, you have, we all, we, we know that we all have to struggle and implement uh, it and many a times uh, um, yeah so that is what it is you know how to do it and i will show the configuration points and i show many a times how it works in a real time system maybe a ppt but it may or may not go through the entirely here let's be i mean if i keep the expectations correct let's say i i tell you that bop is going to work for you right uh, BOP is not a simple thing. I, I can show how the BOP app configured in the real-time system or near real-time system. It may or may not run. So point here, system is not 100% proof. That's what my experience says. Um, Zahir, uh, but if the system works, 
I can show entirely, but it won't work that way. So it will give you, I mean, let us not have a sore uh, feelings at the end. It will give you the guidance only. It is the implementation methodologies that you will be knowing. You will be knowing the, like LTMC. LTMC is a, a tool that which will give you uh, our, it's a migration cockpit. Migration cockpit I can show for a simple object which works. But when you try to do it for a, a complex object like a material management uh, object which consists of 180 fields, uh, it will take ages to prove that, uh, or, or in fact, in a real time itself, I could not do that. So we went for some other, uh, so for some objects it works, some objects it won't work. So ultimately we settled with the LTMC only for 20 objects out of the 71 objects that I am transferring. So, so everything it works, no. Thank you, Chandra. That's really good information. Yeah. So what you will do when, when you are in a real time, every answer I will give, whether it's a, whether it is uh, what I have done and how I made uh, the go live and what features I have used uh, like this in this implementation. We have configured PPTS, we have configured a Vim, we have configured uh, the EWM, we have configured the TM, and hands on, I know a lot of things. So that is why I wanted to share whether everything that I, is going to work may not be. So that is how, so, so but you will know the entire features, what you can expect, what you should do, and which, how to go, to go around. Because day in and day out, my basis team struggles whatever I ask to support to me. So after applying so many things, it works. That kind of support, you will not get it here. Thank you, Chandra. Thank you very much. So oh. sorry, I asked so many questions. Okay. I'm no, no, no. That, that, I mean, it's very really good, Nagaraj, if I'm recollecting the name. See, Ultimately, we are all 15 to 20 years or, or sometimes at least 10 years or five, seven years experience. A real-time implementation can is challenging always. And the team that I'm covering now is 100, 107 people or 108 people. So, so point here, different capabilities, different uh, support, different even SAP support is required for us. And um, SME supports are required. So in a real time to make a, let's say, I'll tell one more example. Let's say you want to activate AATP advanced availability multi-plant uh, uh, availability check. As far as configuration is considered, it is a five minute configuration. It is just a theory apps. But it, when it comes to the real time, it will, so many patches may or may not. I can show the theory app, but theory app may not work for you. So, but when it will work, when you have right time support patches and all, the same configuration what I tell will work for you, which is a five minute configuration. So that, but that is what it is. Okay. So let's keep that expectations. And uh, if we are good, we can go through this. Otherwise, um, yeah, we can remain as friends. All right. All right. Thank you, Chandra. Welcome. So that's all from my side. Remaining things you should contact Zaheer uh, for when you are batch starting, what is your fee event uh, fee or, um, and uh, sometimes as we all of us know, um, I, uh, because of various reasons we may miss a class, right? Uh, so if I miss the class, sometimes I may miss even two, three days. So also I may have to skip uh, uh, if uh, any, uh, I, I may have to travel for the, Setting up the meetings or various meetings, or or if I cover that, probably we try to cover uh, in the nearest weekend, or which is convenient to all of us, right? Uh, but if you guys miss a class, there'll be a recorded session. That is what is my understanding. And most of the times we try to stick to the table, uh, time table, and uh, only challenge here this is a year end, so a lot of vacations are there for all of us and um, relatives coming, travel, there could be some dislocation and accordingly the schedule may prolong. Yes, Chandar, you are right. Right. Okay, that's all from my side. Thank you.
thank you chandar okay thank you harish uh, or anybody else yeah, Nagarjuna, i'm going to call you okay all right 10 minutes and uh, we'll discuss okay then i i drop off um uh, uh, zahir I, thank you yeah thank you here you can send an email zahir are you there yes yes i'm here yeah, Jahir, you can send an email with uh, the course fees and the, the other details. Okay. And uh, so I will check and I will let you know. Oh. Okay. Okay, Jahir, thank you very much. So, but Chandra is like a very clear on what is going to give. That's really, really good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to share you all the details in course fee. Okay. So okay, thank you. We'll discuss and then we're going to start. I think that he already discussed that we're going to start this batch in coming yeah. this Monday. Yes, I saw it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we'll we'll talk about the details. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you.